Sal and Rebecca, and congratulations on your wedding. I'm really sorry to miss it. I wish I could be there in person to share this with you, not only because it's a special day, but also because you're having a reception at the Four Keys. You automatically win the award for best wedding reception ever. But it almost didn't happen. Funny enough, I happened to be there the day that Sal and Rebecca first talked about where to have their DC reception. I thought it might be useful in case there was a homicide investigation later, so I transcribed the conversation. <laughs> if you don't mind, let me just read a short excerpt. Rebecca, hey Sal, we need to choose a site for the DC reception. Sal, how about the four Ps? Rebecca, how about you stop screwing around? Sal, no really, it's the perfect place. Rebecca, why don't we look at hotel ballrooms or restaurants for private rooms? Sal, would any of these places serve car bombs? <laughs> no. Sal, a wedding's not a wedding without car bombs. <laughs> Let's think of a few more options. Sal, if you agree to the four Ps, I'll cook dinner for a month. <laughs> Rebecca, when you say cook dinner, do you mean make mini biscuits and stuff? <laughs> Sal, of course. Rebecca, no deal. <laughs> Sal, okay then, I'll clean the house and do the laundry for a year. Oh, Rebecca, yeah. I would much rather you cook. <laughs> And we're all happy that they did. It's really an honor to be here today. Sal and Rebecca, I'm so glad to be able to share this day with you because seeing the two of you together just makes sense. Sal and Rebecca came over to our house last year for dinner one night, and I just I remember that Rebecca walked in the door, greeted us, and then sat down on the ground with our daughter and played for what seemed like an hour. She instantly made a best friend for life. She showed what a friendly, compassionate, and loving person that she is. Rebecca, I can easily see how in you, Sal found someone to love, to confide in, and someone to take care of him. And we're really happy that he did, because frankly, the rest of us are tired of taking care of him. <laughs> and I'm proud to call you my friend. As for you, Sal, from the bottom of my heart, I'll try and keep it serious, and I do have to say, I am shocked you ever found anyone to marry. <laughs> lucked out like no one has ever lucked out before, and I wish you congratulations. I think part of the reason that I'm shocked is that in my mind, you and I are still the same people that would throw packages to each other in the mailroom of Anderson Hall. And it occurred to me that that was almost 15 years ago. We've known each other for a long time, and you're not really the same person anymore. You've changed and matured a lot over the years. I was thinking about all the ways that you've changed since I first met you, and I was going to mention a few of them here, but I promised that I wouldn't embarrass you, and I won't. And besides, why should I embarrass you when there's so many other people in this room that would rather embarrass you instead? So if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you to pause this video for one second. I know. And, uh, what do you want to explain? And, no, and, and he was, he's going to invite Liz to, to say a few words. Oh, yeah. oh yay! <laughs> So, we're so proud of you tonight because you're no longer a person who would frame a Blues Brothers poster and call it fine art. We're also proud that you're no longer a person who would live in an apartment so small oh, no. that you can cook at the stove and pee in the toilet at the same time. That's true. And we're extremely proud of you that you're no longer the same person who would name your firstborn son Chili, Chili Biscuit. Oh, wow. So with that, I'd like to invite Cheryl. Oh, no. I said, a I said toast, not roast. Job, so what, what is this? <laughs> Sal. <laughs> We're so proud of you today. You're no longer the same person who would buy a couch with a built-in phone. <laughs> Just so you could call your friends and say, hey, I'm calling you from my couch. <laughs> that was cool. We're also proud of you because you're no longer the same person. Who would drag your friends to four different grocery stores <laughs> just to buy mini hot dogs? That was Debbie. However, I that person. you are still the same person who continues to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory every year while getting deep pants no, at we the tied annual no, Jabari no. Ball Touch oh. football game. It's the Alamo Bowl we tied last year. Over to you, Sean Fleming. <laughs> Is this the same Sal who used to come in front of the stage and sang out of two? 
and then regaled us with the Italian Irish jig. <laughs> Is this the same Sal? Whose roommate said he was so messy that at one time they threatened to buy him a goat <laughs> so somebody would at least clean up after him. Come on. Congratulations. Yeah. 